This one's gonna be awesome! This is singing. Oh my god. I'm Chris Meyer. Join me and the Legendary Customs team as we take ordinary rides and craft them into Legendary Customs. Chris with Legendary Customs based out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. If you like what you see, comment down below and of course, hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. We are on approximately day 18 for the 1955 Willys pickup truck. And as you can see, we have blasted these fenders naked and now we are working them. Great news, there is no rust in them. Bad news, they were beat up pretty bad and just filled with Bondo. So we ended up having to straighten them out and then we're glazing them to make them perfect. Was not originally part of the plan, but they were in such bad shape, this is what we had to do. Doors, very clean, except along the bottom, they did weld in brand new bottoms for them. So this must have been rusted off at one time. Anyway, the long and the short is, things are coming along great. We have decided to go with a 6.0 LS power plant out of a 3500 Chevy pickup truck so it has plenty of torque to pull this through the mud on the trail. The transmission is a desired 6L90E transmission. Now you're looking at that saying that's two wheel drive. You are correct. We are going to adapt it over to four-wheel drive. And we are going to hook that to a very old school transfer case that will be mechanically shifted from your two high, neutral, four high, and four low. Now this has the front lockout on the axle so they're going to have to lock it into four-wheel drive mechanically or manually but yeah this engine has a whopping 17,000 miles on it it was in a school bus that was in an accident and i was able to acquire it so it's been taken care of it's been sitting in the shop almost five years and we are finally now putting it to use it was going to go into one of my pickup trucks, but this is a better home for this particular setup. The angle, as you can see, is extremely important. You want that at about 3%. No more, no less. And that is right where we're at. So, Jeff is making the transmission mount, and then this will be ready to go into media blasting, and then, of course, we will do the setup for the suspension. Coming along great. Today, we will strip down the cab, make it naked, and things will go good. Ow! Hi. Smacking me in the ass, and he. Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. Maybe if I sued him, then... I wonder if our insurance policy would cover that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that?
So here we are at Legendary Customs. This is the 1955 Willys truck. And as you know, it's going to be a custom. But I want you to know, this is not our custom. The last shop literally welded in. It took a bolt, cut off the end, as you can see the threads on this side, and welded it into the fender. These have a habit of cracking. The fender was cracked there, the fender was cracked there, and welding in a freaking six inch bolt was their solution to make that stronger. So we're gonna cut that out, make it right, but yeah, we're finding all sorts of oddball stuff, and uh, we can't just leave it. Well, we could just leave it, but we're not gonna. Because could you imagine the next shop that they take this into just to change a tire? Look at what Legendary Customs did. As you can see, we had to, we straight out first with a hammer and dolly as close as we can get it. And now we are glazed the whole thing with mud to get it as straight as we can. Um, this is not, this, this vehicle is gonna end up out in the woods and on the trail. And these are not a manufactured part, correct? And they don't make the rear fenders anywhere. So you have to use what you have. Um, Silicone and all. Huh? Silicone and all. Silic oh man. <laughs> this thing was, had so much silicone on it. I'm a little worried about that with the paint. But with our media blaster, we got the majority of it off. But uh, yeah. silicone and paint are not friends. So anyway, we're getting close. Gonna glaze this one last time. And then take it downstairs. Throw on top of it a epoxy sealer. We first epoxied the metal, get it straight, epoxy sealer, and then a high build primer on top of that. And then we can sand it out to as close as what we want to get it. But we're not going to put a boatload of time into bodywork because the overall idea for this truck is to go four wheeling is to be off-road, is to be out in the deep woods on the trails having fun. Just watch and you'll see. It means that a Willis utility vehicle can go anywhere to do its job in any kind of weather and over terrain that would send most vehicles to the junkyard. If we make it look perfect, they're going to have a hard time taking it out and having fun because it's going to get scratched. There's no two ways about it. Well, knowing that, you only put so much into it, but it's gonna be a hell of a lot better than what the original plan was because, you know, like some of these dents were three quarters of an inch dent left and just filled with Bondo. Well, yes, we're using Bondo. Yes, we're using glaze, but we're just skimming it over the top, just like you would with any custom, just have the panel as straight as possible. So anyway, quick explanation wanted to show off the legendary, not custom, patch job.
totally thought I was recording and I was not. It was raining earlier. Now it's snowing. Get the frame and the engine for the willies on our snowmobile trailer of all things. Taking it to Dan at DCA and um, uh, yeah, I'm not super hype on this whole idea because I feel like it's a little bit Maybe not a good idea. I think I said that before. I think I said that when we were loading it, but anyway, this is what we got going on. Let's just get there safe. All right, so kind of screwed up last night. Took the camera with us. I videoed us driving to DCA with the frame of the willies. Kinda, I don't know. I don't even know how I want to describe it. I did not feel good about it. We got there just fine. Um, it was not really eventful. I thought it would be. It wasn't. Um, and then I got there, and because it wasn't eventful, I forgot to even video them taking the frame off of the trailer and, you know, everything that makes the story make sense on your end. Forgot to do it. Sorry. Anyway, so... I just got up to the shop. Been working from home this morning and I'm gonna turn the camera around here. As you can see, a lot of the parts and pieces cab still up here. But the doors are not, the fenders are not, the frame is obviously gone, and so two of our guys are gone too. Zach is sick and uh, David is sick. My husband, not quite sure where he is, off running errands or something. I go outside, but it's like 25 degrees out and it is so windy. I honestly can't even believe Nate's out there, but he is out there hard at it. He is spraying the box of the willies and uh i don't know he's got more ambition than me because this cold just makes me say nope maybe we'll take a quick wander out there but a number one i don't want that stuff blowing at me and it looks like it's going in the other direction right now and uh yeah let's go take a quick peek progress cold progress the progress This must be where all of the other parts are. Getting ready to get primer. I'll strip down. This hood is seeing some damage. Got a big old weld down the middle of it. So, so many of these pieces though are, you can't get them. So you work with what you've got. And she does want this kind of rough and tumble look for this willies. So it's it's gonna work. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna work. And she's gonna be happy. But here are all of the uh missing pieces from upstairs so it's amazing how much faster things go when you have more than two guys working we got four hands on now so anyways it's a good thing it's gonna be a good day all right we're gonna go out and check this out Nate is blasting the cab right now for the willies and uh, let's go see what's happening. Well, just like the rest of the vehicle, we're finding a lot of uh, Bondo. Huge. Oh, you'd never have guessed, would you, when it no, was this, painted? No, this looked awesome. I knew this crack was here and this was crack was here. But yeah, it's, it's, very, it's thick. The other side was the same way.
Meyer. What color is this thing gonna be? Okay, so our client enjoys a video game that has that's staged in the future. Apocalyptic. Okay. Is that what it is? Time? Apocalypse. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Apop yeah. That. that thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what can I? <laughs> David, what's the word? Apocalypse? Yes, a pop. A pop. One more? <laughs> apocalypse. Apocalypse. Yeah. No, no, sort of. Sort of? That anyway. was kind of funny. So it's apocalyptic times? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So sometime way off in the future when man has screwed up everything on this planet and a nuclear war has happened and it's during the nuclear fallout. Well, she likes that particular video game and I'm not going to say the video game's name because quite frankly, I don't need to promote that. Unless they want to send me a check, I'll mention your video game. Anyway, um, so we're going to do just a total as if this vehicle went through a nuclear war and the fallout was there with the ashes coming down and this is no longer a time where you can fix a vehicle no longer a time where you care about what the paint looks like so that was decided yesterday now how am i going to pull off that paint job i got to figure that one out but it's going to be on the on the spectrum of the So dirty she floor. wants us to restore this vehicle to make it look like it's been through an apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Um, okay. So, so a lot of these dents and dings that we're fixing, as of yesterday when we made the decision, they're not as crucial. But as you saw, Nate's blasting the cab right now. I mean, there's there's mud on there. A big old hunk of it fell off, just a big chunk. Yes. Yeah, Three quarters inch thick. We can't leave dents like that. We gotta pull those out. This, if you can see, if you get a close up on this, this was just so pitted with rust at one time and it was just painted right over, covered up. So we're filling this in so it looks better. It's not gonna be perfect. You know, we are never going for perfect because this vehicle is going to be an off-road vehicle. This vehicle is going to be out in the mud. This vehicle is going to be out climbing hills, going through the rivers, going through the creeks, out in Washington and Oregon. So... Does she plan on using it for road use as well, though, yes? And road use as well, which... So it has 411 gears. 411 gears and a hot rod suck. Because you get 55 miles an hour and you're at 32, 3400 RPMs. And you just at 55. So you never go 65, you never go 70. This thing now will have the 411 gears, but backed up with a six speed. So going down the highway, she's going to be able to hit 70, 75 with this vehicle. And it's going to be purring around 21, 2200 RPMs. So it's going to be great for off road because. The motor that we're using has a lot of torque. That's how it was set up from General Motors for the big 3500 vehicles. The transmission that we're putting in it is built. It's a, a 6L90E, and the L90 is just bulletproof. It's made to pull shit. So going up the hills, going through the muck, going through the mud, it's not going to overheat and be problem. So anyway, we got the power plant, we got the drivetrain, the suspension, everything is being built as we speak. Oh yes, yeah, we're shaped by six inches. Back to what I love doing. Got off the phone with our client. We had, we had a very frank conversation. The conversation kind of went like this. I believe this is gonna turn out better than what we originally planned. In fact, I know it will. She has given us the go ahead for the paint job the apocalyptic. Oh my God, you, you said the word. Did you see me say that? -da -da. <laughs> I, I struggled with that. I, I was stuttering. Couldn't there. say the word apocalypse. So anyway, it goes through that. So a lot of the dents and dings are gonna stay. A lot of them we're getting rid of that the damage was so bad and covered up by the other people. As you can still see, we're using Bondo. 
to fill some of the gradual dents, but in my mind, I have the entire theme figured out. Nate has helped quite a little bit. And I just called her up and I said, you're gonna get a kick-ass truck. I mean, really kick-ass truck. Should I be worried about making it too nice? And her answer was, Chris, it's going to be driven, it's going to be used, no matter how nice it is, I don't care. If it gets scratched, it gets scratched. Make it as we discussed, which is what we just did, and if it gets scratched, paint is paint. So that makes me feel really good because of this thing is gonna be really awesome. Keep watching. After this phone call, I'm extremely excited, even more energized than what I am when we first started this. But we're in our third week, fourth week or third week? Four, I think it's four. Two payroll periods, so our fourth week. And tomorrow, this thing will be in, in the epoxy sealer. Every other part already is. <laughs> If you're watching this and you like it, hit the like button down below, comment, and please share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This one's going to be awesome. Remember, there's a Jeep for your job.